covering weapon systems across air, land, and sea. Welcome to Millpower Minis. The LGM 30 Minuteman ICBM was a massive technological leap over America's previous ballistic missiles. The designation LGM represents L silo launched, G surface attack, M guided missile. Contracted to Boeing in October 1958, the missile would take its first flight from the legendary Cape Canaveral on the 1st of February 1961 and enter service in June 1970. The current iteration of the platform, the LGM 30G Minuteman 3, is the mainstay weapon of the U.S. land based nuclear forces. With a stated range of over 6,000 miles, a single LGM 30G launching from Minot Air Force Base, North Dakota, could strike as far east as the Caspian Sea, as far south as Santiago, Chile, and as far west as Beijing, China. On top of its substantial range, the missile can deploy independent warheads that can separately strike their own targets simultaneously, named multiple independently targetable reentry vehicles, or MIRVs. Each of these houses either a W-78 or W-87 thermonuclear warhead, yielding from 300 to 450 kilotons respectively. Able to deploy three MIRVs each, a single Minuteman 3 can deliver the explosive power equal to 90 times that of the atomic bomb that destroyed Hiroshima. However, since 2016, the New START treaty between the US and Russia has limited the Minuteman 3 to a single warhead. The United States Air Force has these weapons of mass destruction stationed at Minot Air Force Base, North Dakota, Francis E. Warren Air Force Base, Wyoming, and Malmstrom Air Force Base, Montana, and wields 400 missiles in total. One of the most imposing feats of the LGM-30G is its impressive power. At ignition, the first stage of the missile generates an insane 200,000 pounds of thrust, more than two and a half times the weight of the entire weapon system. This allows the Minuteman 3 to rapidly accelerate vertically, quickly climbing out of its silo and into the sky. The weapon system's three stages combine for an incredible total thrust of nearly 300,000 pounds allowing the missile to reach 15,000 miles per hour and ascend to a stated maximum altitude of 700 miles. Though the last LGM-30G Minuteman 3 ICBM was built in December of 1978, over 44 years ago, it remains America's go-to land-based nuclear deterrent today. As we speak, the United States Air Force is working on the next generation of ICBM, the LGM-35 Sentinel formerly the ground-based strategic deterrent. The Sentinel will be the first new silo-launched ICBM to enter the Air Force's inventory since the LGM-118 Peacekeeper went live in 1986 and is expected to enter service in the 2030s. Until that day, the Minuteman 3 keeps watch, shielding America and our allies from nuclear aggression. If you'd like to learn more about America's ICBMs and their developmental history, I've got you covered. Check out the link on screen or in the description below.